Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and in this video, we're going to talk about Universal's prospects of a new park in Europe. Could that be in Spain? Could it be Port Aventura? Or could it be in London? That's right, London. Let's discuss all the new details and rumors we have, and evidence to prove it right now. So rumors have been heating up lately that Universal could be, be reacquiring Port Aventura, a uh, part they owned in 1998 when Universal was owned by a different company and then they sold it off, I think, uh, I believe in like 2008 or something, and now Comcast could be looking to reacquire this because again, this, that was when Universal was owned by I think GE, but now a uh, new owner, Comcast, is looking to, they're really bullish on the parks business, they want to potentially reacquire that or definitely do something in Europe and I we're curious to see what it is. Rumors reading up that maybe something could have been announced during IAPA. Of course, nothing happened during IAPA, but still more rumors have been heating up. We've had you know, lots of patents, a lot of new ride patents or ride patents for Universal, all filed out of Spain, right? Port Aventura is in bar, near Barcelona, which is of course in Spain. So that fueling some rumors, but also that Port Aventura itself is going through lots of enhancements and refreshments. They just replaced their beautiful new sign and bridge enhancement, and they've also done some refreshing retheme or not rethemed, but refreshed areas of the park and rebranded or like refurbished lots of rides. And they've done some inventory in the warehouses. Yeah, so they have done a uh, clean their warehouses and just put them in better shape. Apparently it's the first time they've done that in 20 years. They went through every warehouse and went through all the inventory and cleaned out stuff they didn't need. Almost did like a little clearance sale. And this is what's called due diligence. Now, Universal in 1998, they requested they do a due, uh, Port Aventura do a due diligence before they announced one month later they're bu buying that park. So some Spanish um, fans have, you know, they have announced or they have speculated that maybe the same thing be happening here. Maybe Universal's requiring them to do diligence again and they could be buying the park and an announcement can come in the near future. Now, again, the park will likely be bought by someone based on all the rumors and all the things that are happening. It doesn't have to be Universal though. Uh, people are just hoping it's Universal and again, a lot of ride patents and things have suggested that Universal could be the, um, the much about the recipient, the buyer here, but we don't know anything for sure. We don't even know if it's getting bought, but there's heavy speculation that it will get bought. But then something new came up on the Inside Universal forums. A respected insider um, claimed that he heard that Universal, uh, the UK was next. That's right, the United Kingdom was next for a big park, not one of those, not the something like Universal Kids Frisco, but something like Epic Universal, full scale Universal Park. Like, they just opened in Beijing last year. And, well, what do we have for evidence for that? Well, not much, but he is a respected insider, so he's definitely heard. Again, plans can change. And he's given us some preliminary details. So let's go over those right now. Some of the details he said he wants the uh, Universal so far is unsure of the IP mix. They're not 100% on that. Um, you can even give us the ones they're thinking of right now. Again, this is very, very early in the blue sky stage. stage. Everything will change um, if this, in fact, happens. But they do want to kind of move kind of quickly on this park um, if it does happen. They want it to open by the end of the decade, so that's by 2030. I guess, well, actually could be by 2029 um, because the end of the start of the next decade will be like 2030. So basically, but by 29, 2030, 29, 30, um, they want this park to be open if it does happen. Again, unsure of the IP mix, but you can probably guess that Harry, well, I'm not sure if Harry Potter will be in there because Warner Brothers, you know, has their own Harry Potter experience over there. And even if Universal acquires Warner Brothers, I'm not sure J.K. Rowling would want, they have to, she has to prove that to be in there. She still may want people to go to the Warner Brothers experience in London. So I'm not sure if Hogsmeade will be in there, or Harry Potter in general. But I'm sure Jurassic World will be in there, and Despicable Me, the Minions, all the will be in there. Again, the IP mix is not 100%, but you can kind of guarantee at least those guys will be in there. Also, in the re recent um, SEC filing, mm -hmm. Universal has to announce their purchase, show their land acquisitions. And there has been three uh, companies Universal has formed for their new ventures. 
Universal Ventures Vegas for the Halloween Horror Nights Unleashed Experience, Horror Unleashed Experience. Um, then you got Universal Ven or Un New Ventures Universal Texas for the Kids Park, and then they have New Ventures UL, which many are speaking, spec many people are speculating that that could be New Ventures Universal London. Um, the L doesn't have to mean London, but it just kind of comes to UK speculation. Um, and we can't tell how many acres of land that acquires or what that company holds, but there is an unknown company there for some sort of new venture. Now, it's interesting in that same SEC file, file. so yes, not sure of that IP mix, but um, we do have, again, a projected opening date of by the end of the decade. Now, in the most recent earnings report, Universal suggested that they set aside 270, 270 mil million dollars for land acquisitions again they didn't say what that uh money was being used for or, or they did say what it's being used for but what land was going to uh what land they're purchasing but just all speculation right now but i'm very curious again this london resort kind of came up came out of nowhere and we'll keep watching over the months for any more news or rumors about this but what do you think you guys want uh universal resort in uh, Barcelona, or uh, uh, do you want a Universal to acquire uh, Port Aventura, or do you want them to go to London, or do you want both? Do you want a Universal to just acquire Port Aventura and, yeah, make that just a smaller park and make London a really big resort? Let me know in the comments below how credible do you think this is? Do you think it's going to happen? Do you think it's real? And are you excited about the prospects of new universal parks let me know in the comments below to uh to chance to win a pin win a theme park wizard pin what country and this can be anywhere in the world what country or continent oh, yeah what country actually or what city do you want a new universal park to be in obviously it doesn't it can't be one um or close to one that already exists so uh can't be like beijing but it could be like universal shanghai right or universal australia what continent country or city do you want a new universal park to be in let me know in the comments below for a chance to win a theme park was it a pin the best answer well get that pin and yeah subscribe for more theme park updates check out my patreon patreon.com slash club 72222 on permits exclusive info on this particular situation before it gets to youtube and as always have a Universal Day.